welcome to uh, Williams Food Equipment and Essex Golf and Country Club cooking class. Um, before we get uh, showing you what to do, I'd like to introduce John Romians, who's our executive sous chef at, uh, at Essex Golf and Country Club, and uh, Mr. Williams over here behind the camera, so we can uh, get this uh, show on the road. And uh, we're looking forward to it. John and I used to do this about 12, 15 years ago on regular Monday nights here for uh, for some of the, the following that we developed. We had about 25, 30 people on a Monday night. And uh, we figured, you know what, it's time to show people uh, some of the stuff that we cook and some of the stuff that people want to know how to cook. So today we have about four items to show you how to make. Uh, the what I'm going to show you right now, this is not part of the cooking recipes that we're doing today. However, we, you notice once we get into the uh, into the demos, we have uh, chicken and uh, sausage jambalaya. And uh, it calls for the bone, bone chicken. So what we decided to do is we decided to debone the chicken and show you how to make a chicken stock. So basically we have the carcass of chicken here with some uh, celery, onions, carrots, parsley, garlic, and, uh, and some herbs. Uh, for one chicken carcass bones, you can use about two liters of water, about uh, two, three medium carrots, uh, two stalks of celery, one onion, um, half a bunch of parsley, a few, few uh, cloves of garlic, and uh, mixed herbs. And uh, make sure that the water is cold when you put it on there, bring it to a boil, turn it down to simmer for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, strain it, let it cool, and then you can use that Put it in a freezer bags, separate it as big as you want, and uh, you can just drop from the freezer whenever you're making a soup, you need a, a sauce, you're making a stew, you will always require some sort of a stock. So today it's a chicken stock, further on down the line we'll show you maybe how to make beef stock, veal stock, vegetable stock, etc, etc. Now, if you don't feel like doing this and you want to go to your local grocery store and you buy chicken broth already in the boxes, by all means. The one thing I forgot to mention is you, you never ever ever salt your stock because you don't know what you're going to use it for. So you have no salt, no pepper, it's strictly just a broth. Now if you're making a sauce, you're going to have to add cream, you're going to have to add different flavorings to it. So that's why you don't flavor the stock when you're making it, other than herbs and vegetables and bones. Thank you. 